Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite snakes in my collection. It's not the favorite because it's the most valuable or, or anything like that, but this is one that we produced here. It was one of our, our first goals that we wanted to make. This is one of our projects and we were able to hit it. So it's really exciting, but before I show her to you, why don't I show you her dad to give you an idea of what we started with. I'm sure the camera loves seeing my rear end. And you've seen this snake before. This is a bumblebee. This is a male bumblebee. His name is Apollo, and he is a sire who I'm going to show you. Now, for a little bit of a refresher, is what makes these guys is they are a pastel spider. And you can see the spider pattern coming out, and you can see the colors coming out with the pastel. What we made is called a killer bee, which would be a super pastel spider. So a lot like this, but making that super pastel is going to bring all this out. It's going to wash out the pattern, and it makes for a very, very beautiful snake. Well, he's going to try to run away on me here. Here. Cooperate for a minute. There you go. So now we'll pull out his daughter. And right there, you can really see the difference in this bee and the killer bee. And what you're looking at here is one thing, she kind of came out pretty funky. None of the pattern comes together, which I really like. And you can see how much brighter she is. And this killer is going to hold that color better. And then this is all ghosted, pretty much just grayed out. And look at the difference in the heads. How much pattern is washed out on the killer bee versus the regular bee. And how that head is almost white. So this was one of the first things we wanted to produce. Yeah, we had a 1 in 8 shot. And out of 10 eggs, we got one, so we kind of hit the odds right about what we were supposed to do. Uh, pretty happy she was a female. And the really cool thing about these is it's, since it's a super pastel spider, is when we breed her, we will never make a normal offspring. Everything we make will get at least a pastel gene. Half of her offspring will get the spider gene. So if we were to put, say, a, a, a pastel male to her, you know, with half of it getting... Uh, spider from her, all of them getting pastel from her, instead of a 1 in 8 at a killer bees, we'd have 1 in 4 at killer bees. So it'd be really kind of cool to do that. Although we've got some other plans for what we're going to do with her. But that gives you an idea of this guy's getting kind of tight. Apparently he was a little cool. Of what they can do. So the super pastel makes a huge difference just like any super form. When you get that homozygous form it makes it a lot better powerhouse for breeding, for getting the morphs and things you want as you take the odds out of one gene and you know you're going to get that gene in there. Any questions from our camera guy? Camera girl's actually, or question girl's actually not here today. So Kurt is going to have to play the, hey, what did we miss, ask a question role, as well as the uh, role of doing the filming. So do we have any questions about this gorgeous little girl whose name is Electra? Nope, I don't have any questions. None at all? No. Nope. Well, you're no fun. We'll put her back. We do have one more thing to share with you, as long as I don't get choked out by this python first. And that is, we have upgraded our t-shirt game, as you can see. So we changed vendors. I like these shirts a lot better. You've seen the old ones we were wearing in some of the videos. A lot cleaner look. And we still have the same great slogan on the back, the want to see my balls. So, uh... We do have some of these available in large and extra large. Just hit us up through a message if you want one. If we have one. We'll uh, work out trying to get that to you. Of course, there is a cost, but it's pretty nominal, and we really aren't even making any money on them. We just want to get our name out there. So uh, make sure to like, share, comment, tell us we're idiots, tell us you love us, you know, whatever you're thinking, we'd appreciate it. Thank you.